things come across my screen and I go, okay, maybe we need to take a moment to react to this. And I get like tons of things that I actually bookmark that, oh, that'd be good to react to. Cause what are they talking about? Maybe we should discuss this one or that one. And normally I just run out of time and I don't end up doing it. But this time we're doing it because this is called My Air Conditioning Won't Turn On, The Unnecessary Calls to Triple Zero, which is 911 for us back home in the States. This uh, They call it triple zero here, uh, which is actually easier to dial than 911. I mean, you still only got to go over there, but it's easier to remember three zeros. I think that's a better number. But anyways, let's dive into this. Let's see what they're talking about. Without further ado, for me and all of you, let's get it. But there is nothing funny about some of the calls made to triple zero. From an itch to a toothache, even a ride to avoid paying for hospital parking, taking already overstretched paramedics away from genuine medical emergencies. At the ambulance call centre in Everly, these triple zero operators have heard it all. Uh, I received a call from a 30 year old female who had lost her engagement ring. weird and wacky. I received a call from a lady whose dress made her legs itchy and they wouldn't stop itching. This is supposed to be like a try not to laugh segment. I feel like <laughs> if I did try not to laugh to this, I would probably... <laughs> yeah, I probably would have lost. To the downright stupid. I received a call for someone who needed their air conditioning turned on. That was called in my ear. Yeah, it worked me out. I know this ain't supposed to be funny, but come on, yo, come on, come on. With our hardworking paramedics already under pressure from COVID and now a bumper flu season, they've joined forces with ambulance agencies around the country to remind callers when to phone triple zero. Save triple zero for saving lives. Save triple zero for emergencies. In days gone by where we would be used purely for emergencies, um, we can see now changes in the way that people are approaching primary health care. OK, is he awake? Here in the call centre, the team have taken 216 calls just in the past hour. And while they'll always be here to take those calls, they need the public to use their common sense before picking up the phone. In the past year, New South Wales paramedics attended 275,000 jobs in which the patient didn't need to be taken to hospital. This includes 844 calls for constipation, 810 complaints of a rash and 255 calls from people unable to sleep. I'm frustrated because we're standing there with things like a itch and hearing on the radio things like cardiac arrests where we know that our services are absolutely required. Yeah, look, I think it's definitely important that people are reminded that triple zero is there for a specific reason for emergencies. And maybe some people just don't know that. Maybe some people think that they can call just to get a little bit of assistance with certain things like a helpline, you know, like a random helpline, which is, if it doesn't exist is a good idea. You know, instead of tr dialing triple zero for, for like, uh, you know, super emergency type things, maybe dial triple nine or eight or five or some, something else for like things that you feel is an emergency, but probably ain't really an emergency in the big scheme of things, you know, like you ain't dying. You just might be crying, you know, because you got like attacked by a lion. No, that'd be triple O <laughs> if you got attacked by a lion. But y'all know, maybe if you freaking like got a crayon and it broke in half and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. My crayon broke in half. Better call triple zero. No, wait, wait. I'm still, I'm still breathing, I'm still alive. Maybe triple five will be the one for this one. <laughs> I don't know. And I know it shouldn't be so comical on this because it's a serious issue, but sometimes you gotta just freaking think about the kind of people that exist in the world, all shapes and sizes, all different levels of, of uh, IQs and intellect and real world experience and just knowledge that maybe they were taught or not taught some people actually have some mental disorders and things that prohibit them from, 
you know, actually being able to compute certain things, you know, like they may not understand that clearly. There's some people get older and they just lose a bit of their, you know, kind of mental capacity to obtain or comprehend what's going on or situation. And maybe they really do need help, you know, like, so maybe there is, a, I don't know, maybe there is a number. Let me know in the comments. Maybe there's already a number somewhere in your neck of the woods where you live in the world or somewhere where you can dial for general, like, things that are, are an emergency to you. And if not, someone should start it. I mean, I, I, I could start it. That'd be fun, like a helpline, a general helpline. You know, just sit there and take all the calls and make videos for you guys so we all could laugh together. <laughs> I'm joking. No, I wouldn't laugh. I mean, it, 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 it'd be confidential, of course. You know, we couldn't do that. But y'all know, seriously speaking, sometimes these things are hilarious. Like, come on, someone's saying calling triple O because uh you know the air condition they can get work like come on you that's kind of funny I mean it's stupid funny it's almost like you wonder if it's an intentional prank call or something but you never know because then people are under the influence they might be doing drugs they might be freaking drinking and they really, really might think that's an emergency in that moment so I think maybe it's a good idea if someone could make another number you know for other things you know, that are an emergency to that person moment. Because guys, and I want to say this in a serious capacity, seriously though, some things that you may not take seriously or think is a serious thing to someone else may actually be a serious thing. You know what I mean? Like you may not think it's important, but you can't understand how someone else feels in that particular situation. For example, now let's be serious. If you live in Australia, you know how hot it can get in Australia, especially up north in Queensland area. Dude, it can get freaking hot. You go even further up north, like to the northern parts of Queensland, like Cairns and stuff, dude, it's hot all year round. It's busting crazy freaking just temperatures. Now, if you're in a hot situation like that and your AC ain't, you can't find the AC and it went working, you, you got no AC, that is actually an emergency situation. Seriously though, you could, it is life threatening potentially. I'm just like, seriously, if you you ain't getting no heat and you're stuck in the house and you got no way to keep cool, you could you could die from heat, you know, exhaustion, whatever they call it, you know, exertion, exhaustion, like, you know, heat stroke, all that stuff could happen. It's real stuff. So, so there is a sense of, in some cases that there could be, but it's not like triple, uh, always going to say, okay, let me just call the AC guy to come out and help you. We'll get one of our paramedics right over there immediately to help you uh, get your AC working or whatever, like obviously, but maybe there's another number. I think it's a business opportunity for someone out there. It ain't me. Realistically, I would love to, but yeah, I, I don't think I've got that kind of time to do that. Unless someone's paying me, yeah, if I can make money from it, but then you know, you want to help people for free when you can, especially something like where it could be a potential emergency, just a different sort of emergency, you know? Like, actually, that's a really good idea, though. Like, imagine if you're baking a cake, you go into the fridge. Holy crap. I thought I had another egg. I don't have another egg. What do I do? Oh, freaking hell. I need to call emergency called triple five do, 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 do. hello and hey, look i was baking a cake i thought i had another egg i don't have another egg what do i do this is an emergency i've got 500 people coming over for a dinner party i'm having what do i do do you have any vegetable oil yeah do you have any butter yeah well if you actually take those two you can actually substitute that for your eggs i can yeah yeah, you can. Boom, problem solved. And that could keep someone from freaking potentially freaking getting beat up by a bunch of people because they didn't have a cake at the party. You know, them freaking falling into depression because they ruined a bunch of people's happy day, happy moment. Like, you just don't know. So, could be a good idea. I'm just saying. But, yeah, I don't know. Interesting video. Wasn't expecting that. I thought, surely this is not what we were going to get. But we got exactly what... They said it was, and that's news sometimes. So anyways, let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you thought about this video. Um, in general, like, are you someone who thinks that there should be another number for emergencies that are 
emergencies, but not like life-threatening emergencies. That's what it's called. If it's a not a life-threatening emergency, call this number. But physical life-threatening number, because it still could be life-threatening to you in your mind in some of these scenarios that could play out. So, all right, I'll check you guys later. Take care. Love you. Keep it off tap.